Welcome back, friends. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a personalized Christmas card. I only have one favor that if you learn anything in this tutorial, don't forget to like and subscribe and turn that notification bell on. If you're new to Canva and you want to learn everything there is to know, join my YouTube channel membership. I go live every week to teach my adult learners what they want to know. All right, let's get to the good stuff. All right, so we're starting off this design with a YouTube thumbnail size. And um, this is going to be really, really fun. So I'm going to go over to elements and in elements, I'm going to search for a Christmas train. Now there's tons of Christmas trains here. So I'm going to place this one right here on my workspace. And I'm going to make it a little bit smaller and I'll place it right about here. I'm going to make a copy of this because uh, I'm going to crop it and I'm going to add another train compartment so that I have enough for my family. And you can add more if you have more family members. But um, so here's the start of my train. I'm now going to go over to elements and I'm just going to clear my search. And what I want is just a square frame, but I'm going to come into see all and I'm going to see if there's a frame that's not so straight like this. The edges are kind of coming in and out. And I think that that would work um, better um, just because the windows here aren't straight. So I'm going to take them and I'm going to try and resize them to fit the um, windows on the train. And I'll take a copy and I'll put this one over here and I'll do the same. I'll just try and resize it. Take another copy, put that here. And now I'll take a copy of the both of these. And I'll move them over here. And I'm going to grab the first one and I'm going to apply a border to the outside. So I'll come up here to borders and style. I'll turn borders on and um, I think the thickness is okay. So I'm just going to head over to the border color and I'm going to choose a border color that goes with the train like this off white color. I'm going to copy the style of that and apply it to this one, this one, this one, and this one. If you have your images, then now is a great time to bring in your images and, and place them in the frames. But I'm just going to come over to elements because um, I don't have any pictures that I want to put in here per se. So I'm just going to search for a uh, man. I'll place that in my caboose. I'll search for a woman and I'll place a woman here and now I'll search for some children. I don't really like that picture, so I'm going to put this in here. Now to reposition um, the photos, you can just double click and reposition. If you want to see more of the face, you can make it larger like that. Um, same with the other one. So if you want to just readjust them, you can readjust them so that you can see more of the actual person inside of the frame like that. All right. So now that we have our um, train with our photos, I'm just going to make it a little bit larger like this. And we're now going to add some text. So we're going to go over to text. We're going to add a heading. And in this heading, we're going to type Merry Christmas. I'm going to go over to the fonts and I'm going to place a, uh, a font that's script in there. Um, so I'm going to put uh, a font called Meow Script. Yep, you heard that right. And um, I'm just going to put it right there. Uh, and I'm going to decrease the size in between the words. So I'll come to line spacing and I'll just make it smaller like that. And I'll make it a lot larger to fit right there. So I'm now going to add the name of the family right in this area here. I'm going to go to my apps and I'm going to search for an app called Text Maker. And in Text Maker, I'm going to um, 
click on it. And there's a whole bunch of different options that we can uh, use. I'm going to click 3D. And just a note that not all of these are free to use. You can see um, if it says Pro, you actually have to subscribe to the TextMaker app to get access to that. So unfortunately, it's not sufficient to just have Canva Pro. You also have to subscribe to TextMaker Pro. In any case, um, I don't subscribe. Uh, there's plenty here to use. Um, so I'm just going to use this simple 3D. And in my text, I'm going to type in Smith. And I'm just going to change the angle of my shadow and just make it so it's coming out towards my left. And I'll leave it like that. I'm now going to go back and I'm going to customize my colors. Um, and I want to uh, change the fill color to a gold. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to start with the stop color. So I'm just going to click that and I'm going to move my slider all the way over to um, a gold like color. And I'm going to choose this right here. And I'm going to copy this so that I can paste it into the other ones here. All right, we're going to go into the secondary color and we're going to paste that original color, but I'm going to choose a color that's a little bit lighter like that, just to give it kind of like a sheen. And I'm going to take a copy of that. That way I can apply it to the other stops that were white. And that's about it. So now um, I am going to add this to my design and I'm going to make it a little bit smaller and just place it right in there like that. I'm now going to take a copy of this text and in here I'm just going to type in in lowercase the and I'll make that a lot smaller and I'll bring that over here. And I'm just going to a left justify that and change the color to white. I'll take another copy and I'll move this down here and update this to say family. All right. Um, so if you want at this point, you could add a background so we can go right back up to elements and you can search for a Christmas background. And you can either go into photos or graphics. Um, really doesn't matter. So let's see what some of those look like. Just right click and set the image as your background. So there's what that would look like. Uh, you can go all the way through and pick uh, any of these backgrounds here. You can also search for a winter wonderland and see what comes up. Just keep in mind that um, if you're placing a dark background behind your train, it might be hard to see the um, lettering. Um, so just, you know, be cognizant of that. So here's another idea right here. I kind of like the other one better, to be quite honest. And there's this one too. So that's how we can create a personalized Christmas card in Canva. Of course, um, if you are creating your Christmas card, you'll want to choose uh, the right size. Maybe it'll, it's a five by seven card or, or three by four. 
you choose the right size and then you can customize it. And that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, press that like button, subscribe, turn that notification bell on. And if you want to learn more about Canva, join my YouTube channel membership. If there's anything else you want to see, drop it down in the comments. Uh, I'm up for the challenge to create a tutorial just for you. For now, my friends, I'm going to say bye-bye until next time.